In this video I'm going to be taking a look at an individual integral. We're going to be looking at the integral of 1 over cosine squared x times the square root of 1 plus tangent x dx. This is going to be a straightforward u substitution. So with that being said we're going to take a look at the inside most part of our square root and we're going to allow our u to be that. So we're going to start with saying let u equal 1 plus tangent x. So taking the derivative of both sides, we'll have du is equal to secant squared x dx. And then um, from there, normally I solve for dx, but uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change um, our secant squared x here to a 1 over cosine squared x. So trig identity there, reciprocal identity that we can um, use because we're going to want something to cross out with that cosine. So we're going to say du is equal to 1 over cosine squared x dx. Now I can go ahead and solve for dx multiplying both sides by that cosine squared x. So cosine squared x du is equal to dx. Alright, then we'll come up here to our original integral and we'll start making our substitutions. We'll have the integral of 1 over, we'll have the cosine squared x still there, and then underneath that radical we'll have our u for the 1 plus tangent x. Alright, and then replacing dx with what that equals, we'll have our cosine squared x du. Alright, so making that uh, reciprocal identity substitution right there then gives us something that can cross out there. That's going to leave us then with the integral of 1 over the square root of u du. This is something that now we can integrate. We'll turn this into a u to the 1 half and move it to the top. We'll make it a negative. So square root of u to the negative 1 half du. So now I can actually integrate, add 1 to both sides here, um, add 1 here to my exponent. So adding 1 there is going to give me a 1 half, u to the 1 half. Alright, and then dividing by the 1 here is going to give me a 2 and plus c. Replacing u with what we said it was going to be and turning that square root back into a radical. We'll have 2 square root of 1 plus tangent x plus c for a final answer. So straightforward u substitution. The only thing that's a little tricky is uh, recognizing that that secant squared x right there, you need to do that reciprocal identity in order to then allow those cosine squared x's to cross out. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.